Hi there, this is Jill Woods from Crowd Connections and this is a quick how-to video showing you how to find a user name for YouTube that isn't being used. Um, YouTube gives you the option when you're setting up a YouTube channel to choose the name of your channel um, and also allocate yourself a user-friendly URL. So this is a great way just to have a look and see what's available before you go through the process of setting your channel up. Um, bear in mind that you're wanting to probably use either your brand name or um, keywords um, that's associated with your business. So this is how you do it. You go to YouTube, www.youtube.com and then type in forward slash user forward slash and then type in the um, name that you're thinking of using. So for example, if you are a dentist, you may want to look at seeing if um, dentist is forward slash is available and if it is which in this instance it's not available because this is actually showing us that there has been a channel set up absolutely criminally it's not been used back since 2006 and it's got 49 subscribers so somebody is sitting on a bit of hot property there and not actually using it which is a shame um, so let's try another one so if we type in here here, um, kind uh, dentist. If you're wanting to position yourself as the kind dentist, um, let's try that. Okay, so sorry, this isn't found. So that means that kind dentist is available and could be used as a username. Okay, um, let's just try another one as an example. We could put in um, how about a Yorkshire. So think about using geographical tags, so a Yorkshire dentist. And let's see what it says to that. And again, no, it's saying no, not found. So that would be available for us to use. Um, the one thing that you do need to be aware of is that once somebody has tried to set up a channel with a given username, that username and then they've then deleted that channel that username never becomes available again YouTube doesn't recycle um, channel names so if it's showing up here as in this instance as it's they couldn't you can't find a page which leads you to believe that that name is then available for you to use if you then go through the process and it says it's not available that will be why um, because a channel has been set up allocated that name but then subsequently deleted but that that name then won't be recycled by YouTube so it's a good idea to go into the process having two or three that you would be happy to use before you start um, setting up your YouTube channel so I hope you found that useful and please leave any comments below and I look forward to hearing from you thank you for your time